COVID-19 just hit and people are in a panic. A lot of people are shutting their doors. A lot of people don't know what to do. They don't know what this is. We haven't had a situation like this since the Spanish flu, which was over 100 years ago. So nobody has ever experienced anything like this. However, in this time, business is going very well. And that's why I created Recession Selling, why I'm writing the book, creating the course. If you haven't already checked it out, recessionselling.com. And also, of course, there's future videos coming out. I'll be doing a series. But the thing is that in this time, I've managed to break a lot of records that I didn't expect to be breaking, especially now. One of those was the fastest sale that I've ever done in understanding better what my sales teams would need to be able to have the tools to go out and close deals. Uh, I wanted to actually sell. I wanted to put my money where my mouth is and actually sell myself so I could tell the team what's working and what isn't. So by doing so, it actually turned out that I had the, uh, I, I closed a deal that was over a thousand dollars, over a thousand three hundred dollars within 12 minutes and 32 seconds. So in this video, we're going to be covering how that happened, what it took to get there and how you can emulate that process and the steps to get to that in your business. The company that I did this with actually is a marketing company. It's a marketing agency. So the industry that we were targeting has a <laughs> very difficult industry to be in right now, um, depending on who you are and your abilities, but especially if you're a new agent. But real estate, real estate agents more specifically, we provide marketing services for real estate agents and we do an amazing job of it. We have an awesome product, it does very well and our clients are doing awesome. However, people are still fearful, they're still concerned and they still want to be very careful about what they're doing because they don't know when this whole thing is gonna be over. At the time of this video, we're still in the midst of it. Lockdowns are still uh, on. Some states are you know, easing up on restrictions, but still there, still have lockdowns. So how did it come about that I had the fastest close that I've ever had for over a thousand dollars in such a short amount of time? Well, what it really took was a couple of different elements that you really need to bear in mind. One of those would be really understanding your clients, your prospects. If you don't understand your prospects, then you're gonna have a hard time getting anywhere with, uh, especially in a given situation, in a recession. So you have to understand your clients. Now I'm not gonna get into, you know, every single little detail, it's just too much time and that's what I created recessionselling.com for and the ebook, uh, not the ebook, the book that comes along with that, the course that comes along with that, that's what that's for. But I will give you an overview on things that you can actually use. So the first thing is that you need to, you need to speak to your clients. You need to talk to clients, to your prospects and take notes of their feedback. If you're getting feedback, like, well, I need to see what happens with this uh, this whole uh, virus thing, with this whole uh, Cerveza, thing, you know, YouTube restriction. So I need to sort of see what's going to happen with this um, this um, Karina thing, right? This Karina uh, Karina Varas again, YouTube. But <laughs> But the idea is that you want to figure out what they're saying and why they're saying it. So if your clients are saying, look, I'm not going to make a decision right now. I need to see what's going to happen. I need to see when this all ends and then I'll come back to you. They're not. They're not going to come back to you. So if, they're, if you're getting that kind of feedback, then you kind of want to think, okay, well, you know, why are they saying that? Is it because they don't have the money? Is it because they're worried? And then you want to see if it's all of them or what part of your clients are saying that. Is it all clients that, that just all of your business just suddenly just go flatline? You know, what happens? Then talk to clients and sort of understand what their main objection is. Is it money? Is it the product? Is it the value? Is it that they can't use your product right now? So you need to sort of understand those elements first and foremost. Now, 
When you understand that, then you could start thinking about, okay, how can I take the offer, the services that we have and package them in such a way where clients will actually want our service where it becomes irresistible. Now, that's not very easy to do and it takes a bit of testing, but you'll know when you're on the mark and you'll know when you're doing things that are working when all of a sudden it goes from that to people are calling you listen i just want to know what the price is tell me uh, tell me the price that i want to be sold to i don't want any of that i just want to know what the cost is okay well here's what it is here's the value and here's the price does that make sense right if you're having those kinds of conversations yes it's transactional no it's not ideal however you're on the right path so you want that as an indicator, as a marker for whether or not you're on the right path in terms of your offer. And the offer is really, really important. I'd say that for average sale, at least 50% of the sale has to do with your offer. If you're not seeing reaction, if you're not seeing people signing up, if you don't see people moving towards what you're offering, well then you need to switch up your offer. You need to work on your copy. How did I come about to getting to the point where I'm closing this deal so quickly. Well, what we did is we started experimenting with the messaging and the offer as well as our who, who we were targeting, how we were targeting uh, that those those individuals are our prospects, our ideal prospects. So what we did is we changed around our packaging so that it made more sense based on what uh, people were saying. So as an example, in the niche that we're in, marketing, what do people have right now? Well, they have time. They have time to sit at home and watch Netflix. They have time to sit at home, watch courses, figure things out. So it's not so much about the lack of time, it's more of the risk element. They're trying to reduce their risk, but they have time. So how can you take advantage of that? How can you take your offer and take advantage of the fact that you have a lot of people sitting at home right now that have time, but don't wanna spend a lot of money or take a lot of risk? You need to craft your offer accordingly. So we created a done with you offer where we would actually build out a campaign with clients, right? That was the idea. Now, I'm not gonna get into the specifics of the offer, but that was one of the things that uh, we tried and that worked. Um, you know, we actually sent this out and did an email blast of all the clients that said no before or didn't show up to meetings or canceled meetings, that whole list. We took all of those clients and then sent them out this email that made this offer you know how about we do this where we actually show you how you can do this yourself and we'll build it with you and there's other elements that we added into that to sweeten up the deal within two minutes of sending out that email we had appointments we had discovery calls that were booked but one of those discovery calls within two minutes but one of those discovery calls i actually called up within that time frame, about two minutes, and I was on the phone with him. And then, you know, the reason that I got on the phone was actually because that client in the booking actually just straight up said, like, listen, I don't want to be sold to him. I don't want you to call and, you know, annoy me. I just want to know what's the price. Now, if you've watched my earlier videos, and I'll put a link to it up here somewhere, there's four types of clients. You've got cheap, difficult, sophisticated, and affluent. So that's gonna be somewhere over here on the side. So cheap, difficult, sophisticated, affluent. And when you have those kinds of clients and they just say, I just wanna know what the price is, that's gonna be cheap, right? Those are gonna be cheap clients. Those are gonna be difficult clients. That's okay. That's not bad. You just need to know how to work with them. Now, maybe that's not your ideal client. Maybe that's not who you want to be targeting, but I'm using this as an example and a way that you can see the potential of how this might work. He's just asking me for what the price is. 
So what do I say? Well, does he know what the offer is? Does he know what's involved? Does, does this prospect know what's actually involved? So cover that first. Okay, so it seems like you know what you want. You're a straight shooter. You're very direct. What kind of things do you want to make sure we cover in our conversation today? I want to know what the price is and uh, I want to know what the duration of the contract is, the agreement. Okay, no problem. So you get to those and then you basically say, well, here's what's included. They didn't ask, but you need to tell them so you build up the value. And you don't sell yourself out of the deal. They don't want to be sold to. They're okay with buying, but they don't want to be sold to. So you, they already know that they want to buy it. It's just, does the price fit? Is the value there? Yes, it is. Okay, I'm buying it. So you have to recognize when that happens. So in that situation, the prospect came on the phone with me and I said, okay, so what do you want to cover? I want to cover this. I want to cover the price. I want to cover the duration. All right, what else? Um, but that's pretty much it. Those are the things I want to know. All right, so here's what's included in the offer. And I explained that. And then what else do you want to know? Well, I just want to know what the price and duration are. Okay, so the price is this and the duration is this. And they're like, okay, uh, that makes sense. That's fine. All right, so how did you want to do this? Visa or MasterCard? That direct, because that's where I knew it was going. It was going to be one of those quick, quick kind of calls. So, the next thing was, well, it'll be a visa, but just before I get to that, I had one other question. I answered that question, then I went back to it. Okay, on the card, the name on the card is that Mr. X and your last name, blah, blah? Yes, it is. Okay, and what was the card that you'd like to use? That was it. It took me 12 minutes, 32 seconds, to go from never having talked to this person before to closing over $1,370, nearly $1,400, uh, deal right there on the spot all in all from the time that the email was sent out the appointment was booked and I got on the call closed it, it was just a little bit under 15 minutes so 12 minutes 32 seconds and a couple minutes for the actual email to be sent out an appointment made deal closed my point is that if your offer is good, you understand who you're talking to, you understand your client, you know how to make the offer, and then when you get on the phone with that client, you know what they're looking for and what they're not looking for, you can provide that and move through that as efficiently as possible, especially if they're a cheaper, difficult client, you can land sales very quickly and it's repeatable. So 12 minutes, 32 seconds, that is how you would do it. Join me in the future videos. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do that. And if you have any questions, if you have any comments, or you wanna see anything in any future videos, then by all means, do leave a like below. I will respond to your comments. And thanks for watching.